Hello everyone, welcome to all of you in our today's class. Hope you all are fit and fine. So let's start our today's class. Today we are going to solve higher order thinking skill questions. Okay, you know, these questions are really very interesting and it's all the questions are very creative and innovative. And I think it is the great concept of education. And in your Olympiad exam, there is a section where you get this type of question like HOTS question, that means higher order thinking skill questions. You know, this type of question enhance your mind. This type of question enhance your creativity, thinking skill, and it stimulates your brain. So let's solve some international maths Olympiad question from class three, class four, and class six. Okay, so let's see what is our today's first question. So our first question is from class three. Okay. So at first try to solve this. This is higher order thinking skills type question. So try to solve this. So dear student, did you get your answer? Now let's see what is the answer. Okay. So at first let's read this question. If in a certain language, sister is coded as 535709. Okay. Now the next is uncle. Uncle is coded as 84620. Okay, now the next word is girl. Girl is coded as 1392. Then we have to find out how niece is coded. So we have to find out how niece is coded. Okay, so let's find out. In niece, you can see the first letter is N. The first letter is N. So let's find out what is the value of N. From uncle, we can find out the value of N is 4. Okay, value of N is 4. So let's write 4 here. Now the next letter is I. So from sister we can find out I, the value of I is 3 and from girl we can also find out the value of I is 3. So let's write 3 here. Okay. Now next letter is E. Where is E? From sister we can find out the value of E is 0 and here is from uncle you can also see the value of E is 0. So let's write 0 here. Now the next letter is C. So where is C? From uncle, you can find out easily that value of C is 6. So, let's write 6 here. Okay. Now, the last letter is again E. And we already found out that the value of E is 0. So, let's write 0 here. And this is our answer 43060. So, niece is coded as 43060. Okay. So, now we have 4 options. Which one is the correct one? Is option C. Here you see is 43060. So, it is our answer. So, we got our answer. Okay. It's 43060 and answer is C. Option C. Now, let's move on. Let's solve the next question. And this question is from class 4. So, at first, you see it's an interesting question. So, try to solve this first. So, did you get your answer? So, now let's see the answer. Okay. Here you can see we have two equations here. The first one is this one and the second one is this one. By this two equation, we have to find the value of a circle and a diamond. Okay. The first equation is this. That one circle is equal to, we have six diamonds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six diamonds and the second equation is one circle into one diamond is equal to 294. There are two equations. Okay. So, now how can we find out this value? We have here four options. With this four option, we can find out our answer very easily. You know, if you have option based question like in uh, Olympiad exam, you all, always get the option based question. So, at first I will tell you how to do this question very fast and then I will explain you how to do this question in traditional way. Okay. So, at first let's see the shortcut. How can we solve this question? So, here you see we have uh, four options A, B, C, D and here the sec in the second equ equation you can see that one circle into one diamond is equal to 294. So, uh, with the value of these two that means one circle, value of one circle and value of one diamond whenever we put the value and we will multiply the values and then we get the answer 294 and if we get 294 then this the answer now. But what do you think? You have four options. Do we have to put all the options here? Huh? We put the all the options here? No. 
if you put all the options then it take too much time but now i will tell you one shortcut that will help you to do this question faster okay so what is the shortcut let me explain you here yeah, in the option a you can see is 36 and 6 you see in our second equation is one circle into one diamond is equal to 294 that means in one's place we all we have a we have four okay so that means whenever we multiply two numbers in our one's place we must have a four okay so let's try this out so at first our first option is here is 36 and 6 so whenever we we'll multiply the one's place digit that is 6 into 6 6 into 6 is 36 so it one's place we have 6 here so let's eliminate this option okay option a now let's move on to next option is option b and here we have 42 and 7 and 7 into 2 is 14 so let's keep this because 14 we have and 14 there is a 14 we have 4 in one's place now so let's keep this one now the next option is uh, 8 18 and 3 so here 8 3 is a 3 8 is a 24 so here is also we got a 4 so let's keep this one also and now let's uh, move on to the last option that is d is 24 and 4 and here 4 4 is a 16 so here is 16 we all we got 16 so that means this also uh, we have to eliminate this op option also because we have in one's place we have we want 4 so now between these two option b and c which one is the correct one what do you think in option c is 18 and 3 and 18 3, if you know the table of 18 you already find out 18 3 is a 54 so we, we, there is no chance for 294 so 18 3 is a 254 so let's eliminate this option also okay so just one option already here it's option b so we got the, our answer is b is the right one 42 and 7 so once again let's multiply this also 42 into 7 and 42 into 7 is 294 so it, it, this is the right one okay so we got our answer is option b so in this way you can find out your answer so anyone can find out this answer if you are in class 3 class 4 class 5 class 6 you can find out the answer in this way okay so now i will tell you how to do how to solve this question in traditional way if you have you don't have any options then how can you solve this question then i will, I will tell you also okay so let me explain this now here we have the first one in the first equation you see one circle is equal to one two three four five six we have six diamonds so let's write here six d this d represents the diamond okay now the next screen and the second equation is one circle into one diamond is equal to 294 so we already got the value of circle is 6d 6 diamond so instead of circle here we can put the value 6d 6d into d is equal to 294 okay so 6d into d that means is 6d square okay d into d is d square so 6d square equals to 294 so by this equation you can find out value of d square d square is equal to 294 divided by 6 okay so d square is equal to 49 we got d square is equal to 49 so what is the value of d whenever you have this type of question that is d square is equal to 49 then you can find the value d is equal to plus minus root over 49 and that is plus minus 7 in this way you can also find out your answer and another way is d square is equal to 49 and 49 is which square which number square is 49 it's 7 square so let's write 7 square here so that's mean d square equal to 7 square so d is equals to 7 okay d is equals to 7 in this way you can also find out the answer d is equal to 7 now one circle is equal to 6d so here you can put the value of d that is 6 into 7 and 6 into 7 is 42 so we got our answer the same answer 42 and 7 so in this way you can find out your answer so it's b and d is equal to 7 and c is equal to 42 this is the answer d means diamond c means circle okay and option b is the correct one that we have already found out and is answer b 
okay so whenever you have not any options then in this way in traditional way you can find out the answer okay got it now let's move on let's solve one more question and this question is from class 6 so at first try to solve this so do you solve this now let's check the answer with me once again so here you see we have to find the missing number so here we have a diamond and we have some numbers and inside we have 27 37 and we have to find out this one okay whenever we use this number this 4 36 in this way we cannot find 27 so how can we find 27 in this way let me explain you here is 4 4 is nothing but 2 square 2 square means 4 no 2 square is 4 and here is the number 81 and 81 is 9 square okay and now the next is 100 and 100 is 10 square okay and now the next number is 36 and 36 is 6 square okay so now what we have to do just add we have to these numbers that is 2 9 10 and 6 let's add this 2 plus 9 plus 10 plus 6. So, 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 10 is 21. 21 plus 6 is 27. We got this. It's 27. So, in this way, we got the center number. Okay. So, we got 27. The same way, the next series also we can find out 37 the center number of this okay so it's 9 is nothing but 3 square and 225 225 is 15 square okay it's 15 square and then is now the next is 64 64 is 8 square and 11 121 and 121 is 11 square so now we have to add all the numbers that is 3 plus 15 plus 8 plus 11 okay so you see 3 plus 15 is 18 18 plus 8 is 26 and 26 plus 11 is 37 so we got 37 so the same way we can find out this our answer also so here you see is 25 that means it's 5 square next is uh, 49 49 is 7 square now 196 196 is 14 square okay 14 square is 196 and now the next one is 289 and is 17 square so let's write 17 square here now we'll add all the numbers that is 5 plus 7 plus 14 plus 17 okay so let's add all these numbers is 5 is 43 okay so this way you can find your answer so here you can see we have option in the options we have 43 what do you think yes we have no it's 43 in option c we have 43 so it is our answer okay so option c is the right one we got our answer is 43 so dear children how are the questions how are all the questions i think all the questions were very creative and very innovative now so practice this type of question this type of question always increase your mental ability so practice hot question that is higher order thinking skill questions okay so if you all have uh, learned so many things in our today's class and hope you uh, all have enjoyed our today's class so meet you again with some new interesting topic some new interesting questions till then take care of yourself and bye bye